The Nasir's family home was destroyed in the 11-day bombardment of Gaza in May, and more than a month later, they don't hold much hope that reconstruction will begin anytime soon. This is my house, as you can see, completely destroyed and no longer habitable. We are currently living in a rented house. This is not our home. We ask everyone to stand by us and help us in reconstruction, because we need a home to shelter us. Gaza officials believe the damage bill is at least $500 million, with 2,200 homes destroyed and a further 37,000 damaged. Some countries have declared they will help with reconstruction, but the ongoing fierce negotiations between Hamas and Israel in Egypt over a possible prisoner exchange deal has pushed Cairo to delay talks on the issue. Israel is adamant it will not allow the reconstruction of Gaza to begin until Hamas hands over two Israeli prisoners and the bodies of two soldiers. Palestinian factions say the two issues are unrelated. The prisoner exchange deal has nothing to do with lifting the siege and reconstruction. With the ceasefire still holding, Israel this week began allowing fuel into Gaza for the first time in 50 days after easing import and export restrictions last week. But the suffering of the two million Palestinians living in Gaza is ongoing. I want my house to be built as soon as possible. I have nothing to do with politics or anything else. I want my home. I want to live safely with my children and my family. Palestinians who have lost their houses in the latest bombardment are pinning their hopes on negotiations in Cairo. They are hoping for a breakthrough so they can start rebuilding their homes. A big step in moving on with their lives. Nizar Salawi, TRT World, Gaza.